So in this program, as we said, our user output from our program, which is over here, isn't particularly user friendly. The, the input is okay. Please enter number one, please enter number two. That's pretty that's pretty clear to the user what's going on. But the answers here, unless we had an exact unless we had a big understanding of the code that's going on here, we can't really understand the the output that the program is generating. So when we add the two numbers together, what we actually wanted to say here is we want to display the numbers being added and a message. So let's deal with that a little bit better. So what we can say here is the answer is and we can put a plus sign here and we can hit run. So what that should say is the words, the answer is and then whatever our test data is. So if we quickly just run that program, if we put 5 and 2, our program's actually going to crash. Because what we're doing here, the plus sign, the plus operator, sorry, when you're dealing with text, doesn't actually add numbers together. It, as we said earlier, it concatenates them. But the trouble here is that the answer is, is text. But the variable answer is a real number. So the trouble is it's trying to add two variable types that aren't the same. So what we can do with this is just before the answer, we will use, again, another predefined function called string, str, stands for string. What this will do is convert the real number float, which is in the variable called answer, into a string, just so that we can concatenate them together. So if we just save that and run this program again, and put in just the same variables, 4, 5, and 2, you see the answer is 7.0. But you'll see that they're missing a space there. So what we're just going to do is just add a space there. And again, just rerun our program. We're going to put 5 and 2, and we'll see the answer is 7.0. So we are getting there. It's a little bit more user-friendly. But what I actually wanted to say is that 5 plus 2 is 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment that line out just now, which means that that program will not be run, that uh, that line of the program will not be run. And what I'm going to say is, rather than saying the answer is, I'm going to say that number one plus, now but this time I want to actually see the word plus, or the sign plus. So what I'm going to do is just put it in speech marks here. I'm going to concatenate the next part, which is whatever number 2 is. I'm going to concatenate the next part. Equals. I'm going to concatenate the next part. And then whatever the variable is, uh, sorry, whatever the contents. Now, as we said before, these are all strings. Uh, these are all numbers. So let's just run that, and we would expect it to generate an error. So say unsupported type. So what we'll just need to do there is, as we've done before, just wrap the numbers in the string function. And this time, when we run it, Same variable as before, and five and two. Now we're saying five plus zero plus two point zero equals seven point zero. So again, we could just put some spaces around there, just to make it a little bit more uh, form formatted, a little bit more user friendly.